Danny Velasco worked as a successful freelance hairdresser and makeup artist in photo studios around the world for nearly 40 years. In his early 30s, he moved to Paris because he wanted to be at the center of where fashion was. Within two months of being in Paris, he got his first cover of Vogue magazine. Subsequently, his career exploded. He had as much money as he wanted to spend on drugs and that now included using cocaine followed by heroin. One day, Danny was on a photo shoot in New York City and a model, Wanda, began to talk to him about Jesus. God loves you, she told him. To Danny, this young female was a religious fanatic. He did not have much to say to her and just let her talk. Before she left, she said, Hey Danny, do you mind if I pray for you? In the studio, she took his hands and began to pray out loud. Danny had never been around anyone praying out loud and thought she was nuts. Before she walked out, Wanda said, Look, you know you're in trouble. I know who you are. I've seen your work in magazines for years, and I know you work with all these famous celebrities but you're in big trouble. So I just want to let you know that the day you call on the name of the Lord, he set you free. Oh really? Replied Danny. You don't understand, I've gone way too far. Oh, no, no, there are no hopeless cases with Jesus. Okay, whatever, but listen, I will never call on the name of the Lord. That won't happen, and I won't ever come to your church. I just want you to remember that, she said. One of Danny's contracts was for a clothing manufacturing company, and they were shooting in the Caribbean. After Danny overdosed on heroin, he was sent back to America and the company pulled his contract. Yet he did not care. All he wanted to do was shoot dope. So one day he pulled up a garbage can between his legs and began to cut up everything that had his name on it, including his passport and driver's license. He put the keys on the table, walked out, closed the door behind him, and never went back. He began to live on the streets. Day-to-day -day existence on the streets of New York meant waking up, being sick, and wanting drugs. Danny had gone down to weighing around 108 pounds and developed hepatitis A, B, and C. Every once in a while on the streets he would go to a payphone and call Wanda, Look, I need some money. She would say, well, if you would come by the church today, we have choir practice tonight. She could give him some money then. Wanda never gave up on Danny. Danny did not know it at the time but Wanda had a whole team of friends praying for Danny. And they would pray for him in prayer meetings where there were thousands gathered together crying out to God. They would pray and pray for him. Danny started to develop a lot of phobias living on the street. He began to hear voices in his head, constantly accusing him and telling him he would mess up. Another voice would start up and just curse and spew out filthy language. A third voice would continuously laugh. One day when riding the trains, a man, a drug addict, said, You look like you're dying. There's a hospital next stop. You should go to the hospital. Oh yeah, maybe I will, said Danny. He did not want to die on the street and went into the emergency department. When he woke up in a hospital bed, he was lying in his own vomit. All the voices were screaming in his head. There was one moment where Danny heard a sweet little voice in the midst of all that craziness and it said, The day you call on the name of the Lord, he's going to set you free. It was at that moment that Danny cried out to God, Jesus, help me, save me, you're my only hope, I have no other hope. It was as if the Spirit of God just swept into that hospital room. It was as if he were all around Danny and in him, healing him, and loving him, and changing him. The experience was overwhelming. Immediately all the voices in his head stopped and never returned. The fears and phobias dropped away from him. When Danny was in rehabilitation, he began to devour God's word like a hungry man feasting on the word of God. He also wrote to Wanda and told her what had happened. She replied with three big letters, Wow. What blew Danny away is that God goes so much further than we ever dared to ask for. God gave him a new life and stood him up before thousands of people so that others would know that they too could obtain mercy. It was like he was God's trophy that he wished to show off to the world and say, I can do this in somebody's life. And it shall come to pass that whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Danny Velasco's testimony is available to watch online.